Chris, WahhabiKing.com, and we are going to do a product profile uh, slash how-to video on our Mobius gimbal. We released it uh, about a week, week and a half ago, and some of you guys are receiving it. So we went ahead and go ahead and just do a video on how to set up the software on this and get you guys uh, basically plug and play ready with this gimbal. It's a super smooth uh, gimbal, and as you have uh, already know uh, from the... Uh, daily video that this is using a Terrot style controller. Now when you receive it, you're going to receive it in a box just like this and when you pop it up, uh, there is assembly there and it comes with a really nice set of instructions. Um, but in building this uh, and running it myself, I actually found there's a better way to set up the IMU. So we're going to go ahead and, and discuss that as well as uh, how to download the software and put it onto this. As far as the mechanical assembly, just follow the instructions as it is. It's pretty straightforward and should only take you about 10 minutes to mechanically assemble this gimbal. But once you get to the Terrot controller, that's where I, I want you guys to follow me on this video. Uh, you'll have complete success and it'll be a super smooth, perfect gimbal for you. So when you mount the IMU, go ahead and mount it just like the instruction says on this and you'll notice that the connections are going to be on your right hand side um, for, the, for the motor. Now the one thing that I want you guys to change is the motor position uh, uh, in regards to the instructions as far as which one plugs into which as well as the IMU position. The reason for this is it gives you a much better uh, slack cable orientation, meaning you're not going to have any binding in any of the rotations. And I, I found the other way with the, uh, the wires on the IMU coming towards the back, it would snag occasionally uh, in, in flight. Uh, I didn't like that and so I've reconfigured it. Um, and we're going to be updating the instructions, but just follow this video. So if you take a look, uh, the IMU, instead of coming towards the back like the instructions indicate, I want you to send it towards the motor. Uh, so the wires are going this direction and it allows the, motor, the, the wires to flex right in here and you have absolutely no problems with it flexing to that side. Uh, so the wires are coming this way. But since the IMU position has changed, what we need to do is also change the motor wires where they plug into the, uh, the Terok controller. So it's going to be exactly opposite per the instructions. Uh, so the what we consider the pitch motor, uh, which is pitch on the camera itself, comes over and it plugs into the top connector. The roll motor is going to plug into the bottom connector. Other than that, no other changes from this. So let's go ahead and dive into what you need to do as far as the software and flashing it to this. We've got uh, two sets of parameters that you're going to be able to flash on this depending on your likes and dislikes and we're going to go over a couple of the other settings in the uh, Terrot uh, GUI that you'll be able to use. So when we go ahead and flash this, there are two ports that you need to use. Um, we're going to go over the software, but uh, right on the bottom uh, there is a port and there's a port on the top. Now this particular uh, gimbal controller runs two separate ST32 micro uh, control chips on it, one for the motor driving and one for the control side. The top one up here is for the motor parameters. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and flash that first and that is the motor uh, connection right on top. The bottom connection right over here is for the, uh, the control side of the software and then we'll go ahead and flash that secondly. Uh, as far as plugging that in, just go ahead and use your USB cable that came with it and one just plugs in and plugs into the other. So let's go ahead and dive into the software. We'll uh, go through downloading it and set up. Now the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and go to the product profile for the Mobius uh, gimbal. If you slide on down uh, right towards the bottom, it has a files tab. If you click here on the files tab, you're going to find a uh, file called Mobius config one. Disregard the first one, I actually made an error uploading that. Go ahead and click on this and you're going to go ahead and download that file. When you download that file, it's going to go ahead and look like this when you pop it open. It's going to have a link and update. If you click on this link and update, it has a, a website that you can download the Terrot software, uh, as well as uh, information about what we just discussed as far as the position of the IMU and cables, uh, as well as the, the, uh, the link right there. So I'll go ahead and minimize this and jump back in to my web. Uh, when you go to the Terrot website, that link brings you right here. Slide on down to the, uh, the Terrot 2D gimbal software. And what you're going to download is this one right here, the ZYX uh, 1.5, and you download that software right there. Now the other files that are in here are the configuration and motor configuration. There's two configurations for the control, uh, depending on what you like. One's a, a smooth, a uh, little bit slower in recovery, 
uh, but gives you a really nice smooth panoramic style. The other one's a real crisp style control. So you can play with uh, and download each one to determine which one uh, works best for you. Now once you download that software, you're going to end up with this file right here. I'm going to go ahead and click and open it up. What I want you to do is go ahead and click on the, uh, the exec file right here, the program itself. I'm just click and go ahead and open that up. And this is what you're going to have right here is the GUI. Now, there's a couple things right in here. When you plug in your USB controller, uh, you're gonna, it's going to recognize it as a COM port. So let me go ahead and just pop that in. Um, it's going to recognize it and install the drivers. Uh, the drivers were within that, uh, that uh, file that you download from the, the uh, Terot uh, website. Now, uh, as soon as it's in there, we're going to be able to select here the COM port for your U USB. On mine, it's 26. Now, first thing we're going to go ahead and do is update the software for this proper configuration. Now, when you plug this in, if you didn't do any of the uh, software updates, your gimbal is just going to go crazy and start shaking all over the place. Uh, so it's, it's critical that we go ahead and get this uh, updated. So first thing we're going to go ahead and do is uh, plug in our USB to the bottom port. And we just plug that in right there. And I'm going to apply power to the gimbal. The gimbal is going to go ahead and shake around on the table. I'm just going to go ahead and hold it down. And then I'm going to select open COM port. All right, so we are good to go. Once it's selected that uh, my USB was plugged in, it uh, noted as motor off. All right, uh, now I've already have the configuration loaded on this, but if you have the base software, it's set up for the Terrot gimbal, which causes the IMU to actually be in this position. So what we need to do is update the software for the configuration where it's already set up. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and click on load configuration. And we're gonna go back to that file uh, that we downloaded uh, from the, uh, files tab and I will just find that on my desktop Mobius one config and there it is right there we can either pick the the crisp or the smooth I'm gonna go ahead and just pick the uh, the crisp and open that up and then I'm gonna write settings to the flash if everything is correct when you hold the Mobius gimbal up the camera on the GUI will mimic exactly so if you the, the, it, if you don't do it correctly, it'll point down even though it's level, and that means you still have the Terrot software on there for the, the Terrot uh, style gimbal. If you do it correct, the, the, the camera will be level, and when you point it up, it points up, points down, uh, yaw back and forth, and roll. So it'll mimic everything that you're doing. If it does that, you, you have it correct. So we're all set there. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of these other settings. Um, the, the difference between the crisp and the smooth uh, changes your PID gains and values right up in here. So you can play with both of those if you want, but just updating the software was, is, is that easy. You just load the configuration and then you have to write the settings to flash. If you don't do that, it won't save it. It'll load it, but as soon as you power it off and power it back on, it'll be right back to the way it was. So make sure that you write it to flash. Now, some of these other things right over in here, uh, if we take a look at angle limits, you can control how far that uh, your different angles are, um, as well as your base uh, um, setting to initial angle. So if you want it to start off at a, a slight negative degree, you can go ahead and put that in here. If you want to be able to get 90 degrees out of your pitch, uh, full 90 degrees down, this is where you're going to be able to put in the max and minimum limits for both roll. Now, what's interesting over here is that we have dual mode right over here, which is that third channel put in on this. And you have what's called a stick rate mode. And a stick rate mode is when you're on your transmitter. Uh, if uh, the gimbal is, is looking level and you, whatever you have it on a slider or a knob or a switch, if you flip it, um, depending on your stick, uh, if you move it a little bit, it's going to start moving a little bit. And as soon as you let go of your stick position, it's going to stop moving. And you move your stick back. If you move it fa uh, your stick uh, fast, it's going to move fast. Um, but wherever you select over the stick, it's going to uh, uh, stay in that position. So it kind of follows the stick position, but doesn't have a home center per se. Now, if we change this to um, stick position mode, it's going to follow your stick position. So if you let go of a stick uh, and it's spring loaded and it goes back to center, so is the camera going to go back to center. So you can have either one that just uh, is, is a rate mode, meaning that you're requesting it to move at a certain uh, speed in a direction. As soon as you let go of the stick, it's going to stay in that position. The other one, it just follows the stick completely. So if you let it go, it's going to come right back to that. So it depends on what type of filming you're doing. So you can select those via that aux port. Um, I like uh, the, the, uh, the rate mode, works best for me. 
Um, and uh, that's pretty much it as far as you need to know on this GUI. Just make sure that the camera is mimicking what you're supposed to be doing right over here. And that has to do with the file that we loaded uh, changes the central, uh, the sensor uh, position or known as the IMU. Now the other thing that we need to do is go ahead and set up our motor configuration. So what I'm going to do right now is unplug the USB from the bottom port. And I'm going to now plug it into the top port. I'm going to go ahead and click on motor configuration. Uh, right here I'm going to uh, open the COM port. And from there we're going to be able to load configuration. Uh, and it'll pop right up from that same file. It remembers where we were last. I'll click on this. I'll click open. And then I need to write settings to flash. And then we can close that out. And what that does is set up our power uh, poles and everything for these particular motors. And pretty much we're absolutely done with this and, and we're all set. Like I said, you can go ahead and play with the two different uh, uh, software versions that we uh, put together on this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just close this out. And I'm going to disconnect this. I'm going to cycle power on the gimbal and let's see how she performs. Just disconnect. Reconnect. Give it a second to initialize the IMU. There we go. Go ahead and pick it up and there you go. Silky smooth Mo Mobius. So key notes, just remember that we've changed the IMU position on the bottom to go this way. We've switched the motor wires right here. And what that does is allow that this cable comes backwards and pivots here instead of on the back side. And uh, it makes it a lot more flexible. You can see right here how much uh, uh, throw I have without the cables binding up in any way right there. Uh, and then as far as the software, we've got those loaded up underneath the files tab so you can just download which one you want. Just click, uh, make sure that you click um, flash to firmware. If you don't do that, it will not remember the, the settings itself. Good luck guys. Get some uh, great aerial photography. As always, subscribe to your YouTube channel. Hopefully you found this useful. We'll see you next time.